every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From his end zone, Isaiah McKenzie. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. come to the line to start their next drive and on the last drive they were in field goal range they just opted not to kick it didn't get it how does that change the mentality this go around i don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time attack at all times in any spot on the field and he likes touchdowns not field goals now your field goal kicker you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say okay don't worry about it when we need you you've got to be ready to go and the team of course loves to see points on the board so let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again yeah we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot they get seven out of that so they're left with a third and three took him five tries but he is able to complete that first pass of the game and could you hear the exhale all the way up here <laughs> not just from him coach and staff offensive line receivers now he's off the schneid can they get him going in a nice groove where he becomes a little more consistent throwing the football because yeah, you miss those first two but when you get up the 0 for, 4, 0 for 4 range that can be a little tricky but able to settle in hopefully yeah now you won't have any confidence issues now you can kind of get it back even with just one throw fourth down and they hit him as he throws as this one's going to go straight down to the turf incomplete boy a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out and the eagles are going to take over in great field position ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10 Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And they're going to get this down to about the 17 yard line here. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage, they can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an outta boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. He was trying to get it to A.J. Brown that time, but it'll be second and goal. Hurts with a little pop pass on the jet sweep. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Here we go. 
They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Throwing his hurts. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Try and throw for it with Hurts. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. A great effort there. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. And they fake it. They pitch to the tight end. And that one goes virtually nowhere. Trying to fake extra point but nothing comes of it. Uh, let me go ahead and show my age a little bit. I liked it when they would fake it from the three-yard line, right? When you'd line up, go ahead, and oh, there's a fake, and oh, he's going to get two. That's great. But from the 15, the risk-reward is just not there. It's so risky to get 15 yards on a fake. Well, you see the result right there. Yeah, I know these young whippersnappers are trying to do different things in this game, but let's go back to old reliable. Kick the ball through the post. Get off my lawn. Oh, that's darn right. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. Well, when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. Uh, what, what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. But first down, Hurts. Open, and he's got it. That's Smith for the Philadelphia touchdown. Devontae Smith, a 24-yard touchdown. And the Eagles are able to strike. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he will step out of bounds. Oh, what a mistake there. And the two-point try will be unsuccessful. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They go right back to Singletary. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. midfield here's Allen 
And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, big-time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Allen's throw is complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And the Bills are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. That's going to go as a loss of six, and it will set him back for second down. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. So we've come to halftime here in Philly with the Eagles on top as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports from the 10. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And all in all, pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by James Bradbury. But that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. He's going deep for Brown. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. He's going deep for Brown. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Bills are going to take over once again, and they'll have it at their own eight-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that... Not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Now Allen. And this one is incomplete. At this point in the game, in the situation they're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into positive snaps and soon. On second and ten, Allen going deep for Diggs. And Allen going to be intercepted for the third time. And the 